They're getting real, like dangerously real. Just recently, one robot malfunctioned during a demo, going rogue and swinging its arms at engineers like it was auditioning for the next Terminator movie reboot. That clip went viral, but honestly, it's only the tip of the iceberg. Over in China, a car company is taking things to a new level by showcasing life-sized humanoid robots with blonde hair, ponytails, and sunglasses in their showrooms, all to sell cars. Meanwhile, in Germany, a robotics firm has rolled out a humanoid worker that can operate for eight hours straight. And guess what? It costs less than a Tesla. On the other side of the world in California, Berkeley has just released a DIY humanoid kit for $5,000, one you can 3D print right at home. And people aren't wasting time. Tweaks are already underway to make it walk better and last longer. But that's not all. Hyundai's going full sci-fi, bringing in Boston Dynamics Atlas robots to assemble 300,000 electric cars a year. So let's break this down. The viral video of the robot freakout is already a meme, but it's worth taking a moment to really think about it. The footage came from Belarusian TV, showing a malfunctioning humanoid robot suspended by a crane, meant to be undergoing a routine motion test. The engineers were reading from tablets when suddenly, the robot went haywire, flailing its arms, kicking its feet, and even dragging its stand across the floor. A desktop PC smashed to the ground, and the engineers had to scramble for cover as the crane groaned above them. It only lasted about 20 seconds, but it garnered over 100,000 views in just four hours, sparking tons of Skynet-related jokes. In China, Pudu Robotics D9 robot can walk at 4.5 meters per second, climb stairs, and even take a hip check without falling. Another prototype, the muscular Keyleetal Android from Clone Robotics, promises to cook, clean, and even hold conversations someday. Commenters were fascinated by the tech, but also concerned about the dystopian atmosphere. Meanwhile, in Shanghai, Cherry Automotive has teamed up with AI MOA to develop a humanoid robot named Morin, a sleek, blonde, ponytailed android designed to work in car showrooms. Morin is already greeting customers in a Malaysian dealership, dispensing water with its carbon fiber fingers and answering questions in a synthetic voice. And it doesn't stop there. In Cologne, Iggy GmbH has developed a humanoid robot called Iggy Rob. And at 47,999 euros, $54,500, it's far cheaper than other Western models. This robot's unique design involves a wheeled platform and modular arms with bionic hands that can lift up to 100 kilograms. It's not about flashy features, but raw functionality, perfect for a variety of tasks, from reception duties to clearing cutlery and cafeterias. Across the Pacific, the University of California, Berkeley, has made a major breakthrough by releasing a humanoid robot that you can print at home for just over $4,000. This open source project is a game changer with a community of developers already working on software improvements. On the high-end side of things, Hyundai is taking robot tech to the next level. After acquiring Boston Dynamics in 2021, Hyundai has integrated the Atlas robots into their manufacturing process. These robots are set to be a key part of their 21 billion US investment, with the goal of producing 300,000 electric and hybrid vehicles annually. The plan? To see a future where robots work alongside humans in the factory, performing tasks that are too dangerous or repetitive for people. So, with robots now selling cars, building them, and sometimes even throwing tantrums during tests, how long do you think it will be before one of them replaces you at work? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this video made you rethink a few things, hit the like button and subscribe for more insights.